Check out this uh, roast pork. And it's got a lot of flavor. I put a lot of uh, pepper and thyme and uh, Italian seasoning. So check out my recipe for roast pork with bacon. Rock. Today we're doing roast sirloin of pork and we're going to use onions for this recipe because I got lots of onions as you know. Some of you may know. We're using the onions because I bought a big bag of uh, onions, 50 pounds of onions for $7.98. So I'm doing a lot of recipes with onions. So our roast is uh, 19 and a half pounds so I actually cut it into two so we're getting two roasts. And then I'm going to put uh, six onions on the bottom of this roasting pan. So first we put down some thyme. Put some Italian seasoning. We've got some uh, black pepper. Then put about a tablespoon of this uh, sea salt, or use regular salt. So make sure you rub some on the side there too. It's okay to um, put more seasoning because uh, it only goes on the outside of the roast. So when you cook the roast, uh, there's a big slab of meat. We've got two slabs going down today. So I'm putting down two slabs of meat here. So one on this, on this bracket, I'm going to keep it above the uh, vegetables. So the drippings from the pork will go into the pan and that will be uh, the gravy. So uh, here comes the uh, second piece. So I have them both uh, on, the, uh, on these uh, brackets so they're not actually touching the uh, bottom of the pan. So I've got the uh, oven going at 425 degrees. I'm going to pop it in for half an hour just to get a sear on the top here where the fat is. So that's a lot of meat here. So I'm going to pop the, uh, the pan in the oven and uh, let it go for about half an hour at 425 degrees. It's been about half an hour for the roast at 425 degrees. So we're just going to pull it out. At this point I'm going to put about a, a liter of uh, water into the uh, bottom of the pan. So you can see the onions are on the bottom. So it might be a little more than a liter, maybe a liter, almost a liter and a half. Turn the heat setting down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue to roast for about an hour. So we're ready for the next step. We're going to wrap the uh, roast in bacon. Next, uh, transfer the roast pork onto another tray. I, I have a glass tray here, so we're going to finish off the uh, roast pork by wrapping the bacon and in the meantime we can also make the gravy. Here we have two packs of bacon so we're going to put uh, one pack of bacon per roast. I'm just going to wrap it around the roast. This will give it uh, more flavor. Also keeps the, the, the pork nice and moist. You can layer the bacon in one direction or you can crisscross the bacon for more fancy presentation. So finish off the roast at 350 degrees for the last half hour. For more crispy bacon, put the setting at uh, 500 degrees on the broiler for another 10 to 15 minutes. The temperature of the roast should be at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So here we have the, uh, the gravy stock. So we put the three whole carrots in there, we cut it up. I have uh, six onions in there. So these onions you can serve on the side and the carrots as well. 
because these would be really nice. So I have lots of onions as you know so this is another use I put for the onions uh, to put it for the uh, gravy stock. So I'm just going to strain the, uh, the liquid here and then uh, bring it back to a boil in a pot mix it in and that will thicken the gravy and sometimes if the gravy is too light in color I'll just put a little bit of uh, dark soy sauce something like this this uh, Kimlin dark soy sauce just put a tablespoon in there usually a tablespoon will do it maybe a little more a little less and that will bring nice color to the gravy so first you just uh, skim some of the uh, surface there so there's usually some fat on the top but not too much here so this is just the drippings from the two pork roasts so not too much uh, fat because it's a lean cut of uh, pork uh, the top, the uh, sirloin the sirloin roast doesn't have much fat so you don't get much uh, fat on the drippings so we just do it go like this and then so now it's just boiling I'm just going to mix in this uh, cornstarch uh, solution it's eight tablespoons of cornstarch with a three-quarter cup of water. So you might need more or less, depending on how thick you want the gravy. So usually I find for what I make gravy for this size, usually about eight tablespoons of cornstarch in a half a cup to a three-quarter cup of water. So the gravy is just bubbling now so we uh, keep it at low to medium heat so just let it simmer for a little bit and then we'll shut it off and then we'll just reheat the gravy when we're ready for dinner so here we have the onions with the carrots so you can serve the onions and carrots on the side if you like there you have it a simple recipe for roast sirloin of pork Wrapped in bacon. Enjoy. So the pork has lots of flavor. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. The recipes you get now is the what I call stay at home recipes. This is what I have in my fridge. And if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Uh, put it in the comments in the section below. And be sure to give me a, a like and uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, make sure you uh, click the bell so I can uh, keep giving you more videos.